Hi there, this is John Barton from JB Cases. Uh, I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to load our ultra pad cases. Uh, I'm going to use the basic rugged case for this and show you how to load it. So um, here I have a, I have one of our custom cases here and uh, I picked this because I've used a red interior and I want to show you how that looks. It's a little bit easier to see the holes in this one but basically for this case you've got three butt shafts in the, uh, or butt cavities in the um, center and around the edges here you've got the cavities for the shafts. Now in this case the uh, butts and shafts can go either direction whatever you're comfortable with so um, let's show you that. One of my customers had a uh, had just bought a 3x6 and um, they love the case, he loves the case but he said that his only complaint is is that he can't put the uh, shafts in tips up because he prefers the tips to be facing upward so that they don't get chalk inside the cavities. Um, he doesn't know that in our cases, in all of our cases, you can fit the shifts, uh, the shafts and the butts can go either direction. So I'm going to show you real quick how to load the case in either direction, no problem. All right, so this is our 3 by 6 I'll start with that one since that's the one he has. I'm not sure if, the, if that really shows up for you, but I'm going to teach you real quick how to load this case the easiest possible way. Um, so, the main thing to remember here is that on all of our cases, the, uh, the section for the butts is higher, always higher, than the section for the shafts. Okay, this applies to all of our JB cases and, and all of the cases we make with UltraPad um, interiors. The only thing that the only one that it does not apply to that we make is the GTF case, and that, that has a, a slightly different way to load it. But for all of our JB cases, it's always that the, the uh, cavity for the butts is higher inside than the cavity for the shafts. Now this is important because when you go to load the shafts, all you have to do is put the shaft to the side of the butt cavity. So for example, take the shaft and put it to the side of the butt cavity and press in and push down and there you go, it goes right in. So no problem. So you, even if you can't see it, you always know where the relative position is and you just simply put it to the side of the butt cavity and put it in. Okay, so for a three by six, it's always one, two, three, right on the side, one, two, three. So just put it on the side, push in or go to the center push in or go to the side here and push just put it next to the cavity and push in and there it is it's right there and that works either direction so the shaft can go in in either direction no problem so let's do that one on a black case okay where you can't can't really see the interior that easily okay so starting with the black case here all I want to do is take my shaft and put it in where it sits, you can just sit it on the, on the cavity here and press it up against the fabric on the side and push in. And there it goes. Take one more. This one goes in the center, so it's easy to find. It goes right in the center of the case, in the center on the side wall, okay? Then the last one, very simply, reach in, put it next to the center there, and then press down, and it goes right in. So that's what this will look like with three shafts inside. Let's see if I can get a better picture there. Okay, now, here you can do the same thing on the other side. One, two, and three. The third one, as I said, you know, the one of them always goes right in the center. And there you have it, one, two, three. Okay, now, Let's put the cues in. One in the center, in the back. No problem. The next one goes to the front. There's two on the front. And there's a seam on the front right here so you can see it easily. And then the next one goes right here. So that's how it loads. So this is the case loaded with joint pins up 
and tips up. There you go. And as usual, nothing falls out, nothing comes out. Everything remains in there until you want it out. Now, when you want them out, you just simply reach in, grab the butt you want. See how easily I take it out? Two fingers, nice and easy, just reach in and grab it. Okay, if you have joint protectors, it's even that much easier to grab them. But anyway, just grab it. This has a rubber grip, by the way. So you see how easily that comes out, no problem. And then you can just reach in, pull out the shaft you want, and there you go. So, no problem there. Now let's do the same thing. Let's even go to the two by three. Okay, now on the two by three, you have two butts on the outside and you have three shafts in the center on this one. So the same thing applies. Simply reach in, put it next to the one where it goes, push it in. Okay, one goes in the middle. Another one goes on the outside. There we have three, three shafts in the case, tips up. Now the butt, simply put it to the side, put it down in there, there you go. And the other one. And there you go. Three butts, or two butts and three shafts. Now, I do recommend, you know, if you really want to, uh, this is a little bit tight at the bottom because it's got all of the, uh, you've got all of the parts, the, uh, the thickest parts are together. So what you want to do is you really want to, um, if you're going to do this in the two by three, what you really want to do here, this is my recommendation. If you want to put tips up in this case, because this one is so efficient, my recommendation is, is that you put the butts opposite because then you're relieving the stress. You're relieving the stress on this and you are, essentially what you're doing is you're allowing the, the thickest parts of the cue and the thinnest parts of the cue to be in one space and then the butts and, and joints down at the bottom all in the same space down here and so it's no stress on it. So this particular case, the two by three, if you want to do it with the, uh, with the tips up, I would highly recommend, you don't have to, but I would highly recommend that you do it uh, with the joint pins down and the tips up. Okay, just because it's, it's, a, it's a nicer, stress-free fit. Okay, so, now, let's move on to the uh, three by four. Again, we make these cases very efficient. Okay, so this is a space that normally, most other uh, case makers are gonna make you a, uh, a, two by, a two by two in this space, and we give you the room for an extra shaft. And the same thing applies in our in our three by six. Uh, that's the size of case that most people would give you a, a two by four. And then our two by four here is actually a three by four. We give you an extra space here that you can put three butts and four shafts in. So the same thing applies here. On this one, this is three butts and four shafts. Don't know if you can really see it there, but. Same thing applies here. Find where it sits, stick it in, tips up. Tips up. Now again, because of the efficiency on the, on the three by four, I would recommend that at least, at least one cue should go in joint first but it's, uh, it has to do with what you're comfortable with, okay? If you want a snugger fit, then go ahead and put them all in. Bumper down. Okay, so there's one.
and the third one goes right in the center. And you'll feel that make a nice snug fit once it goes in there like that. Now, as I said, I, I would recommend highly, you know, that instead of doing that, you put at least one of them down like this, and that will be a very comfortable fit right in there. And again, nothing comes out. Everything's right there until you want to take it out. And you just simply reach in one finger and pull it out. If you feel that it's a little bit too snug, then just adjust how you're putting stuff in until you've got it where you want it. Um, so there you go. Let's do the four by eight. Same thing. Okay, now the four by eight is four butts in the center and four shafts on each side. That's the four by eight. I don't know if you can see that. It's really difficult for me to get a good light on this. But here we go with the four by eight. And again, this can be tips up or tips down. Same thing. You simply let it sit. Let it sit right here to where it stops and then just press it against the fabric and put it in. Now, again, this is one, two, three, and four. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, right here for the shafts. Okay, so this is four shafts on the side. Four shafts on the side. Now let's do four shafts on the other side. So one, two, one. Two. Three. And four, there we go. And this takes, this takes like five minutes of practice. Okay, once you get it, once you see how it goes, bam, you're done. Okay, so four cues, all bumper down. And as I said, you know, just remember that, that although this will fit, I do recommend, you know, that you go uh, opposites. So you'll notice here, this last cue on this, when I go four by eight, the last cue, especially with a rubber grip, is a little bit tight in here. So with this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and put it in this way, and now everything fits perfectly. So here you go, tips up. And three of the cues with joints up, one of them with a bumper up. Everything fits comfortably and easy to get into. Nothing comes out, nothing falls out. So there you go. That's the JBK's basic rugged, four by eight, how to load it. Um, that's loading it tips up. You can load it tips down if you like, either way. Um, I talked to Bill Schick a couple years ago. We had breakfast together. Um, little name drop there, but uh, Bill told me, he says, all the young players uh, load their cases the wrong way when they load them tips down. He says in the old days, they used to load their cases with the tips up so that the player could see what tip he wanted to play with. So I guess, uh, I guess that was a big deal for them back then, um, that they saw the condition of the tip or, or maybe it had to do with the game or whatever reason. But Bill says that, that in the old days, Everyone used to load their cases with the, uh, the tips up and the joints down. So they said the joint didn't matter, you know, that they could always get to the cube, but they wanted, they definitely wanted to see those tips so that they could pull the right shaft out the first time without having to, to fumble with both shafts. So there you go. Okay, so that's the basic rugged case and how to load it. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.